The public sector is comprised of organisations owned and controlled by the government and they exist to provide essential services to the public such as water and electricity, health, education, transportation, finances, IT amongst others. There are around 4,500 people employed in the public sector making the government the biggest employer in Gibraltar. Chief Secretary Darren Grech said these reforms will be transformative with the ability to cultivate individuals whose work underpins the public service, adding potential future chief secretaries and public service leaders could already be here within our ranks. A while ago we recognised the very real need to identify the leaders of tomorrow in terms of who will lead the civil service tomorrow. There's a lot of talent within the service, but we need to nurture that talent. And we thought it would be really, really prudent and, and good to have a mechanism in place to train up these future leaders. The Chief Secretary said change and improvements are needed, but it's important for the opportunities and infrastructure to be in place in order to achieve potential. He said the Future Leaders programme is a critical component in removing potential bureaucratic barriers that, he says, has held back some of the best candidates. But it seems the programme has come as a surprise to some. You talk about working together with the unions to deliver this programme, but GBC understands Unite, the union and the GGCA, were both unaware of this project. And the GGCA certainly has asked you to suspend all reform measures until discussions are held with them. Being such a major stakeholder, should you have informed them before announcing the project? And will you now hold back your measures pending that meeting that they've requested? OK, first of all, we are trying to achieve some traction here. So we just launched. It is certainly within my plans to consult the unions. As, and I will consult the unions, but you need to carefully uh, define what you mean by consulting somebody. Uh, I consult somebody for an opinion, and then it is up to the person to convince me that an opinion is the proper uh, way to go forward. If I am convinced, then I will alter the course and I will go along with the opinion. If I'm not convinced, I will obviously give my thanks and I will continue along the path that we have defined. I am Chief Secretary. I have been charged with uh, the, the uh, mission of delivering public sector reform. This is what we are doing. The unions I consider vital stakeholders. I will sit down with them and I will engage. They will have brilliant ideas to bring to the table. But of course, consulting is one thing and letting the unions run the show is something completely different. I'm not saying this is what they are telling me, but I'm saying this Chief Secretary, Chief Secretary is uh, having to, to follow a particular journey, which is to deliver that private, uh, public service reform, which is what we are doing. So part of the reforms uh, involves restructuring existing departments. So are you saying that even if the unions aren't on board, you will still proceed with this program nevertheless? Uh, once the unions get to hear what I have to say, I would find it very, very difficult to believe that they are not on board. Which union would not be on board with trying to deliver training to their members to make them better at what they do? I, I don't think it's going to be an issue, to be honest. But I hasten to add, to consult is one thing, to, to then be swayed completely into doing what the unions want, want you to do is something completely different. I have to deliver a change process and I will deliver a change process. I will look for the talent wherever that talent lies. If the talent lies within the service, then the talent is within the service. But if I need to look beyond the service, beyond the ring fence to look for the talent, then there is where I will look. I'm not saying only civil servants can express an interest in taking part within Flamingo, which is the future leaders and managers in government. If there are other people out there, if there is talent out there that we can make use of within the civil service, why are we going to turn a blind eye to that, to that talent? We want to bring that talent on board, but we have talent inside as well. We shouldn't be running scared of taking difficult decisions. What do you mean in your press statement that you intend removing bureaucratic barriers which can hold back the best candidates? What sort of bureaucratic barriers are you referring to? Why, why should there not be a fast-tracking mechanism within the civil service for people who are very worthy of it? Why should there not be such a fast-tracking mechanism? If you, if you demonstrate that you have the ability, that you have the work ethics to, to uh, deliver, why should I not reward that performance? 
Why should, should we all remain and be the same all the time? So those on the program will be fast-tracked? If they are worthy of being fast-tracked, they will be fast-tracked. Okay, we often refer to the Chief Secretary as the head of the civil service, yet you've announced this as a public sector reform. So what responsibilities do you have over the public sector more generally? Okay, generally, I am the head of the civil service, but this program should not just be ring-fenced to the civil service. Why should other members within the, the greater public sector, teachers, uh, uh, people within GDC, uh, nurses, uh, across uh, whatever you want to call public service, why should they be excluded? What we're talking about here is about people coming into the project, completing possibly a master's degree, being, being placed into placements uh, within the private sector, uh, uh, and within Gibraltar and even making use of our uh, contacts within the UK civil service, spending some time there if need be. Imagine the possibilities when, when these people come back from having gone through the very stringent mechanism that is a project. Both UNITE and the GGCA have said they have not been consulted on this program. But Chief Secretary Darren Grech has said he will be working together with the unions that represent public sector members in delivering this program to lead the change together.